Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are delving into the intricate layer of OSI model. So today specifically we will be focusing on the foundation about the physical layer. Okay, so as we know the OSI model works as a framework for understanding how different networking protocols and technologies interact. Where at the base of this OSI model we have the physical layer which is responsible for the actual transmission and reception of raw data bits over a physical medium. So now let's break down the core functions and key concept of physical layer within the OSI model. So at very first, the critical aspect of physical layer is the concept of modulation and encoding. So here in this conceptual demonstration, modulation and encoding happen from the one end where demodulation and decoding is done at the other end. Means modulation involves altering characteristics of the carrier signal to convey information while encoding translate binary data into a format which is suitable for transmission over the medium. So moving on let's look into the other core function at the physical layer that we have the transmission of raw data here. Also this layer handle the actual binary bits which are zeros and ones as we know and then transferring them into the electrical form, optical signal, then the radio signal, wireless wave signals for the transmission. Further moving on let's now look into the devices who work or stay on the physical layer which are like hub. CAT5 cable, NIC, network interface card, Ethernet copper cable, wireless access point and fiber optic cable. Okay, so now moving on we have the physical topology also. In the physical layer we have topology like mesh topology, star topology, bus topology and ring topology. In the mesh topology each and every device should have a dedicated point to point connection with each and every other devices in the network as you can see on the screen that how all these computers are connected to each other. Then the next we have a star topology. In the star topology the devices should have a dedicated point to point connection with a central controller or a hub or a switch we can say. So you can see on the screen that all of these computers are connected with a central hub. Next we have the bus topology. In a bus topology multiple devices are connected through a single cable that is known as a backbone cable with the help of tap and drop lines. So here you can see that all these computers are connected with a single cable and in case this cable is stopped working everybody will be interrupted. Now the ring topology. In a ring topology each device is connected with repeaters in a circle like ring. So that's why it is called as a ring topology. Another thing, so now moving on, we have the modes of transmission medium in physical layer, which is like the simplex, half duplex and full duplex. So in the simplex, out of two devices, only one device can transmit the data and the other device can only receive the data. Means it is a one way transmission. And the example of this we can take like keyboards, monitors, TV broadcasting, radio broadcasting and the other ones. Then the next we have half duplex mode. In this mode out of two devices where both devices can send and receive the data but only one at a time not the simultaneously means only one can send the data and the other can receive the data. And when the other will send the data, the first end will receive the data. And the example of this we can say like walkie talkie and the railway tracks and exact. Then we have the full duplex mode. So this is kind of like a communication of mobile phone these days or chatting in application. So in this mode, both devices can send and receive the data at the same time. They don't need to wait for the other end transmission. They can speak at the same time from both ends. Okay, so let's summarize the overall function performed by the physical layer. At first, the physical layer maintain the data rates, 
means how many beats a sender can send per second then it performs the synchronization of beats it's help in transmission medium decisions it also help in the physical topology as we just got to know then it help in providing physical medium and interface decisions where to connect and what medium is being used to connect then it provides two type of configuration like point to point configuration and multi point configuration also it provides an important aspect we just got discussed that the modulation which is the process of converting the data into radio waves by adding the information to an electrical or optical knob signals then it also provides a switching mechanism wherein data packets can be forwarded from one port to the leading destination means from the sender port to the destination port including all this we have some physical layer protocol also like you can see on the screen we have the ethernet with 1000 base t and ethernet with 1000 base sx then we have 100 base t also then synchronous data hierarchy physical layer variation in 80211 then we have bluetooth networking for controllers and then us based serial buses so this is all about the physical layer functionalities let's now look into the little bit deeper way and try to understand how exactly the data get from one end to the other end using transmission modes like this ethernet cable fiber cables and in wireless mode so here we have our source end and the destination end and now the both end connected to each other with the ethernet cable and when, hence we know that data travel in physical layer in binary form means in zero and one forms so the device transmitting the data will send current along the cable at two different voltage which is zero volt and five volt it uses in ethernet zero volt and five volt then the physical layer uses zero volt to send off signal that means it is sending zeros and when it is sending five volt for on signal then it is sending ones that is how the ethernet send the zero and ones using the voltage now in the fiber optic cable same thing happen in fiber optic cable as we know fiber optic cable carry lights so signal is being sent in a light form when the light is on the ones data is sent and when light is went off it represent the zero so that's how the fiber optic send the ones and zero binary data now in wireless wave transmission the wireless router uses a modular to convert air wave frequency back into the binary code and then translate the code into the internet traffic that are requested from the user end also we must have heard about the throughput or a speed like kbps mbps gbps or so on so all these represent that on the basis of speed and throughput size devices can actual meaning that when such routers translate and transmit binary data that much kbps or mbps ones and zeros binary codes are taken in inside or sent out in a single second means that represent that all these kbps mbps and gbps that how much ones and zeros can be receive and send in a single second that represent in throughput so this is all about uh, explanation of physical layer i hope it is helpful to understand and clear thoughts also i hope you like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching